Got a list? Time to put it in order. Fred Dwarmfor's house. Top five. Top five meals that I have ever had. This is Ranked. To be honest, that list was really biased. Brought to you by Carter Volkswagen. Every morning at 945 on the Mike Salk Show. That top ten list. I'm not buying that. Ranked. Mike Lefko, Michael Bumpus, and Matt Hasselbeck with you, wrapping up the show. All right, Matt, so we heard some sound. Martellus Bennett had to choose between an invite to Tom Brady's house or Devin McCourty for Thanksgiving. And he said McCourty because he wor- he was worried Brady would have tofu turkey and avocado ice cream and that, well, yeah, McCourty's would probably be better. So in honor of that, we want to know <laughs> who – well, you, that That's makes so sense, funny. right? Yeah. I mean, hey, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. It's all, it's all about what you're looking for. I mean, it's probably not often that Tom Brady gets dissed. Right. You know, he invites someone over his house <laughs> and gets dissed, but – uh, it's Thanksgiving. Probably like, no gotta, video games there either. Well, you got to read the coverage. Yeah. You, gotta, you get all these invites. It's like a prom <laughs> invite. You got to kind of read the coverage, play your hand. It's uh, it's a real thing. So when you when you were here in Seattle, who were your top five Thanksgiving hosts? So listen, I we were always hosting because we were like twelve months a year uh, in Seattle type. Where like that was our family. A lot of people live all, elsewhere in the off season, but this is how I ranked them. Okay, like if I was some random player on the Seahawks you know sort of hedging my bet for the the invites number five would be an invite from your coach or a coach and i don't know what it is about coaches you guys know like sometimes it's like uh you know seeing your teacher on on a day off like like oh you're a real person like i there's like like socializing is like this hard thing but having said (laughs) that i did go to jim zorn's house for for thanksgiving one time and it was an awesome awesome maybe one of the best thanksgivings i ever had but it felt like more players were turning down the offers from their coach than they were accepting them because of like that weirdness factor but uh no need for it but they, they get number five <laughs> that makes sense it really does who wants to watch film on thanksgiving right <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Hey, you want number four? Yeah. You want yeah. Number four? Go to okay, number, number four. four mm-hmm. I'm going to go with like the invite from the quarterbacks. So like in Seattle, when I was there, whether it was Heward or Hasselbeck or Dilfer or whatever, like the quarterback invite is a pretty safe bet. Like it maybe isn't like it's not in the top three necessarily, but it's a pretty safe bet. You know, you're going to have, uh, you know, the wives are going to be all over it while we're all at work. We're going to come home. It's going to be on time, on schedule. There'll be kind of fun activities, probably very kid friendly um and if you're like a wide receiver and you play video games with my kids you're probably going to get more opportunities in the passing game like i'm gonna (laughs) it's gonna come back to you there's there's some benefits there you'll get looks in the red zone i can uh whether conscious or subconscious it's definitely gonna happen see that's that's where i messed up i should have went to your house for thanksgiving comes out now (laughs) you 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 went with one of the top three i'm I'm betting and you probably went top two uh knowing you michael (laughs) Well, now I'm curious. I got to hear what, what this top three is. I thought quarterbacks would be higher, but okay. So I'm curious. It's very competitive. Yeah. Listen, uh-huh. and here's the thing. Our, like I said, the coaches, like Jim Zorns was awesome as a coach. His was awesome, but that's just number five. The quarterback Thanksgivings were amazing. I can promise you they were like the best of the best from turkey to salmon to like we had it all, everything. But still just number four, number four on the list. Too too hard to crack the top three. All right. Well, I, well let's get to it. I'm breathless here i'm just uh so much <laughs> anticipation waiting yeah, for number you three you sound it you sound yeah. it all right number three the o-line invite oh uh, the o, like the o-line mm. takes their food so seriously you know like I, i'm thinking probably steve hutchinson like if you follow him on instagram now like he takes his cooking and his preparation and all of it so seriously but it could be tobeck it could have been chris gray it could have been it you know walter jones was never really a hoster he was like the bring the pecan pie guy and he loves pecan pie, like loves it. He's a connoisseur when it comes to pecan pie. But I, I would just say the offensive line in general, um, just really, they take their food so seriously. So, like, if you really want that great Thanksgiving experience, O line, top three. Not, not they're not one or two, but they're they're, uh, they're they're on the podium. I guess is what I would say. They're on the podium. Bump, did he get you? Did you go to one of these yet? You not yet. Line uh, Thanksgiving? Not yet. I must okay. be top two. Okay. Yeah, you're a top two guy. That's what I said. Okay. Like, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, that's what I'm thinking. But again, you can't go wrong. You pick an O line dinner, uh, an O line Thanksgiving. Like, you're you're doing well. You're doing well. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. Let's get to it. Number two. 
All right, number two, the, the fun house, okay? Low foot to Tupu, no <laughs> doubt about it. You know, like there's even like buses when you go to the game. There's like bus one and bus two. Bus one's usually the guys on offense. Bus two is usually the guys on defense or the fun bus. You know, like bus one's quiet. Guys got headphones on. Bus two's like music's playing. You know, people are talking. Low foot to Tupu's house is like the, the, the fun house. You know, there was, there was food and beverage at that house, I would, I would, I would say. Um, so Lofa, like I, I think, is the leader of the defense uh, most of the years that I was there as that middle linebacker. He was kind of the the life of the party and uh, just a great leader. And and uh, again, took Thanksgiving very seriously. But that was that was the place to be. And and I only know this really because I was there for like Monday night football parties and like that kind of stuff. But uh, Lofa's house definitely solid, solid choice, top two. And, I, and I'm thinking Michael Bumpus. He's he might even be a gold medalist. He might he might have been top one. But if he was at the silver medalist party, Thanksgiving Day party, then I, I could see that as well. Do I was know? at, yeah, I, I was at a fun house. I was at a fun house. It wasn't Lofa's fun house, though. It was when, after you, this list. I'll tell you and you, you'll probably agree, man. Do you agree with my list so far? I'm mean, just curious how I'm doing here. Yeah, it's on point. I'm feeling it. OK. OK. All right. Is there a big fanfare for number one or just we get right to it? Number one is sort of like a combination of all of these, really. It's really a combination of like uh, one, two, three, and four. It's just got, it's like it's got a lot of fun. It's got a lot of great food, taking the food seriously. And then like the, you know, got, got a little bit of um, like they know what they're doing uh, to them. And in an amazing house, too, by the way, which, which plays into this a little bit. But you got something for everybody. Nate Burleson. Nate Burleson's house, <laughs> local kid. And I thought about putting Marcus Trufant in here, but when I was there, they were neighbors. So, like, they literally were next door. So it was kind of like the same thing, same oh, neighborhood. Wow. same. Yeah. Uh -huh. Kind of go from this house to that house, kind of share a backyard. Uh, but Nate B., Nate Natoya, um, Marcus True, and Jessica, like, that was a – that was definitely the place to be. Like, if, if your coach invited you, but you also had an invite hanging out from Nate, it was like, ah, oh, sorry, coach. You know, I, I, you know, I, I already said yes to, to someone else. I, I appreciate it, but um, that, they get the number one spot. But, again, like, O-line, you're on the podium. You know, no disrespect. Yeah. But that, that's, that's my list. And, and in the worlds of Earl Thomas, to be honest, that, that list might be a little bit biased. 